In this work, we're really trying to emphasize the need to take a much longer view of population processes and specifically of child death to recognize that this is really the outcome of, you know, intergenerational processes at play. Um, so whereas past work has kind of taken this ahistorical perspective to studying child death, focusing only on the kid and their immediate surroundings, our work emphasizes that, you know, this is actually a maternal event, a reproductive event, and a lot of the kind of risk factors were already set into motion long before this child was alive and is very much kind of embedded in mother's own life course. Um, Global South countries have some of the highest rates of inequality, uh, you know, across the globe. And so this work really emphasizes the need to kind of take a multi-generational perspective in order to understand how these inequalities are really sedimented in families and replicate across generations. So absolutely, there's these, you know, massive structural disparities that are coloring all dimensions of people's lives and really have a hand in helping to kind of replicate disadvantages and, and inequalities across generations. Um, I do think that, you know, much of what we're finding, this, this, this finding that a mother's risk of having a child die is, you know, dis decidedly linked to her mother's experience of the same um, experience, I think is evidence, you know, that, so that the socioeconomic strata really powerfully affects women's reproductive experiences and their daughter's future reproductive experiences.